known as one of the fastest women in history, setting world records in track and field. The story of Florence Griffith Joyner is one for the history books. Florence Dolores Griffith Joyner, also known as Flojo, was an American track and field athlete who was born on December 21st, 1959 in Los Angeles, California. When looking at Florence's speed, she got a little help from rabbits. I know that might sound silly, but at the age of seven, she began enjoying running and to increase her speed would chase jackrabbits. Florence may not have won gold in 1984, but she definitely stood out. At the 1984 Olympics in Los Angeles, California, Florence won a silver medal in the 200 meter race, but that wasn't what helped her brand. She would catch the eye of fans and media around the world with her six inch decorated fingernails and eye catching racing suits. It made her an immediate celebrity. After meddling with a silver in 1984, Griffith was disappointed in her outing. That is when she went into retirement from running track and field. But like many greats who can't stay away from their passion, Florence would come out of retirement. With a new training program and a change to her starting technique, Florence was back and ready to race again. Another fact that you might not know was about Florence going to marry another Olympian. In 1987, she married Al Joyner, winner of the 1984 gold medal in the triple jump and brother of Jackie Joyner Kersey. Fast forwarding to the 1988 Olympics in Seoul, South Korea, Florence would not be denied the gold. That is where she won three gold medals in the 100 meter, 200 meter, and the four by 100 meter relay along with a silver in the 4x400 four meter. Her performance in the 1988 Olympics made Flojo an icon and a household name, even earning Joyner the Sullivan Award, honored as the nation's top amateur performer. Florence went on to eventually retire, but would not stop serving her community and even the White House. After retiring in 1989, Joyner established a foundation for underprivileged children and from 1993 to 1995 served as the co-chair of the President's Council on Physical Fitness. Although her life came to an end on September 21, 1998 in Mission Viejo, California, her legacy in the world of track and field is legendary. <music>